Hey guys, today I want to explain why I rarely cover the Souls games in my videos and why I don't really have a high opinion on them, which is why they almost never make it to my best of videos. First of all, I don't really dislike them and I don't really have anything against them, it's just I feel they're not for me. Now, these games are action RPGs, they're long, grindy and very technical. And when it comes to action games of any kind, I always prefer the faster ones, which is the reason why I prefer RPGs like the Ease games, the Nier games or the Tales of games, for example. You might want to call them button mashers, but I don't see anything wrong with that. They are exactly the types of action games I usually enjoy the most. Another important thing is, and I'm not ashamed to say it, that I kinda suck at them. Usually I try playing action games of any kind on easy mode. If it's way too easy, then I switch to normal, and if I can't, I'll stick with the easy mode until the end, and on my second playthrough, I'll generally switch to normal mode. So my first problem with the Souls games is not only that they are difficult, but that they are so technical. You can't just mindlessly press buttons and quickly attack everything around you. In these games, and you know that already, you need to strategize, to practice positioning, attacking carefully, guarding and evading at the right time, etc. To be honest, if I'm going to do all of that in a video game, I'd rather do it in a turn-based RPG or a strategy RPG, not in an action game. But that's just me. I do see the beauty in these games, but I just don't enjoy playing them. I grew up with 2D beat-em-ups and platformers. By the time the 3D market was out there with action slash adventure releases, and by the time I started playing them, I was already into traditional style RPGs, not into highly technical, difficult and strategic action games. Maybe that plays a part as well in my rejection for the Souls franchise. Another huge reason is the lack of a story. Obviously they have one and I actually think the lore in them is quite interesting, but story progression, character development and dialogues are almost non-existent in them. The only one with a solid plot was Sekiro, which I actually enjoyed a little bit more than the others, but then again I lost interest because of its gameplay mechanics, something I already said it's great, but it's just not for me. Bloodborne looked visually stunning, alright. Often I praise its visuals and style, but I gotta admit it's a game I'll probably never finish. Perhaps the lack of character focus or consecutive narrations turned me off? And most of these games are RPGs. They aren't short action adventure games you'll finish in less than 5 hours or so. So I'm basically playing an action RPG with almost zero story to keep me invested. And what's the most important aspect for me personally in an RPG? The story. A third reason why I don't play them is because of their style. They often go for the Baroque and the Decadent, typical of some Western RPGs even though these games are Japanese. I love medieval and I love dark and gothic stuff, but not when the settings are crushed by uninspiring gameplay and absence of character focus stories. They might be utterly inspiring and engaging for you, but they just aren't for me. I'd rather just watch a movie or a series or read a book inspired by them, but as video games, they just don't appeal to me at all. In any case, this reason is more of a stretch, like I'm just throwing more excuses out there not to play them. However, I think that's pretty much it when it comes to explaining myself. This is why I don't play the Souls games, nothing against them, I think they're all great, even Dark Souls too. I feel it's the worst of them all, but when I played it, I thought it was okay. But yep, they're simply not the types of games I enjoy playing. What about you? Do you like them? Dislike them? Love them? Hate them? Post your thoughts in the comments if you want to. As for me, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. See you next time!